What do you recommend for people who have eczema? Eczema is a form of allergy, actually. It's usually food-induced. And it's also, a reason to pay attention to it is people with eczema, their immune systems aren't behaving. And they often end up being autoimmune patients. So good to treat it before it gets worse. But it usually responds well to dietary change, um, getting rid of dairy products out of the diet, sometimes restricting gluten intake. How do you know if your bone density is OK or not? And what tests do you recommend for testing this? What foods, supplements, drugs, or lifestyle choices help and hurt with bone density? OK, so your bones were meant to live as long as you do. And what people don't realize is that, many people, is that just like all the other cells in your body, your bone cells turn over every year. You get like a whole new skeleton, right? So how do you make that happen, keep that bone healthy? Um, the first thing is you eat an optimal diet. Exercise, OK? Because exercise, movement, weight-bearing exercise stimulates the bone remodeling process. Get out in the sun. Make, and, and your body will make vitamin D, which is important for bone health, but taking the supplements doesn't help your bone health at all. Um, and um, uh, make sure your gastrointestinal tract is in good working order, because if it's not, nutrients, including calcium, that are needed for bone building won't get in. So um, drugs that damage the, the microbiome or the GI tract or diseases, celiac disease, um, taking steroid drugs, these are things that can lead to osteoporosis because you're not absorbing nutrients from food needed for bone building. So that's the thing. There are no tests that I recommend for um, uh, measuring bone, bone density. And the one that's used most often, DEXA, is ridiculous. I mean, this is, a, this is a test that measures loss of bone mineral density, which is a normal function of aging. Women lose bone mineral density more than men because the demands of childbearing and breastfeeding are significant on the skeleton. So we start with higher peak bone density, lose more of it after menopause. So only the medical profession could promote a test that tells you that you're getting older, as if we didn't know that before we went in, right? That's a pretty well universally accepted thing. What factors contribute to macular degeneration? Macular degeneration is, uh, and, and diseases of the eye in general, have a lot to do with nutrition because um, it, it, it's related to cardiovascular disease. And most people eat a diet that damages their cardiovascular system. Well, a couple of conditions, both diseases of the eye and erectile dysfunction happen because, and often they're the first sign of cardiovascular disease because you have these tiny little micro vessels that are delivering nutrients and, and stuff to the eye and, and also to the penis. Um, so what, what's good for the heart is good for the eye and good for the for erectile dysfunction, all right? And good for the brain, also. I'm giving a talk on that today. Um, another factor uh, that, that uh, is an issue is type 2 diabetes and uncontrolled type 1 diabetes, factors for developing conditions of the eye. So in a general sense, we could say, if you want to protect your vision, eat a health-promoting, low-fat, high-fiber, plant-based diet, exercise, stay hydrated, all the things that we're talking about, going back to the idea that that systemic, working on your body from a systemic standpoint will protect all the parts of the body systemically.